10 years ago, I lost my job in the banking industry. I was 25 years old. It was November 6, 2008. At the time, my wife was eight months pregnant. I had no college educational vault back on. I had no backup plan. So what I did was I rebranded myself. I went on social media, and it was through social media that I became inspired to help people find jobs as a result of my own job loss. So with no money to back me up, with very little experience, besides the experience I had working in banking, I learned how to code, I built my own website, and I started a business to help people find jobs. It was through that business that I started using social media to promote my business, to gain customers, to gain awareness, to gain PR. Eventually people started finding jobs as a result of work that I was doing through my company, even though I was making no money. Despite losing everything, my house, my cars, my money, I gained something so much greater, which was experience. And it was through that experience, which is what we refer to as social media marketing, that I was able to rebuild my career, rebuild who I am as a person, gain the confidence that I needed to do things like public speaking, to teach others. And what you see now is the outcome of everything I had to go through in a 10 year period. I had to struggle, I had to go, I had to hit rock bottom in order to be able to dust myself off and build myself back up. A few minutes ago, I was there interviewing Zach Nadler, which is the CEO of Vayner Speakers. And this was set up through Gary V a couple days ago at ComplexCon. What's going on, everyone? Carlos G here next to Gary V. We're at ComplexCon 2018. Gary, congratulations. Dark Clouds just dropped through the 003. What about your book deal? Tell book. them one more time. The book is dropping October 3rd, 2019. Man, you gave yourself a lot of time. We're the publisher. I'm on, I'm on their time. You know how it goes. On that old school time. You know maybe, maybe, maybe we'll get Gary V to say a few words. Thank you so much, Gary. Appreciate you. Thank you scenes to Gary and was just asking him, dude, like, what's your criteria for representing people as part of your new Vayner speakers? I want to be represented by them. I know I have a lot of colleagues that want to be represented by them. It's like a Twitter Royal Rumble. If you just go right now, like look at every single time Gary talks about Vayner speakers, everyone's in there self-promoting. My way of going through the back door is just go directly to the source. So if you want to know how you can get represented by any company. If you want to know if you meet their criteria, you have to go directly to them, but not doing it in this open way because everyone's flooding the market at the same time. So I did just that. I went to Gary on Saturday. Gary said, hey dude, meet with Zach. I said, great, I'll be in New York Tuesday and Wednesday. Do you know if he's free? I'd love to do a feature on him for Entrepreneur Magazine. And Gary said, great, give, give him some upfront value and he'll give you a few minutes of his time. And that's exactly what we just did. I turn left on 30th Street. Yeah, that's where you're going. You have to go that way. You're going to that big ass building right there. It's coming down. Vayner Media, you're going to go up the escalator to the right. Basically, this is going to go on entrepreneurship. Okay. And um, it's going to be just real simple. We're going to talk about what's like your criteria, the speakers that you're looking for, mm -hmm. things like price point, if you can speak on that. But I know there's a lot of my colleagues out there that are hitting you up left and right on mm -hmm. Twitter. And yeah. I'm sure you're like, your email is getting flooded. Absolutely. I think we've heard from over a thousand people. <laughs> Zach, thank you so much for your time. In closing, where can potential clients learn more about Vayner Speakers and how can they get in touch with you? Certainly, VaynerSpeakers.com will be live shortly. And, um, you know, by all means, I'm accessible. And shoot us an email on the website or you can find us all over. Thank you so much, Zach. Of course. Thanks, Carlos. All right. That's a wrap. Mm -hmm. Cool. Sure and sweet. I appreciate it. Yeah, if I have any other like kind of like filler questions, yeah, I'll shoot go me. ahead and I'll shoot you an email. That'd be but great. But I think this is enough content. Typically like a video interview for entrepreneur, 10 minutes max is good. Awesome. And like there's good points in here that I can cut up and turn into like five actionable steps. Right, obviously, you so. know, uh, short form people love. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Here's the thing, man. If you want to get in with any company that you want to do business with, you have to go straight to the mothership. Vanier Media is the mothership for a lot right now, for influencer marketing, for speakers, for talent representation, for brand representation. So you gotta go to the mothership. You gotta go straight to the source. You gotta go to the Eagle, which is Gary. 
You have to go to the mothership, which is the office. There's only so much you can do with this being Twitter, Instagram. Like, this is only going to get you so far. It's going to get you maybe, like, an introduction. Maybe it's going to get you a meeting for someone. But you're not going to truly conduct business. You just saw his office and saw how many employees work for him. All right. For the average person, for, like, the average me or you, we're one person or we've outsourced maybe to a few people that take on tasks. So for example, shooting and editing, I don't do it. That's outsourced. So in terms of using the phone, like there's only so much that you can do with this before you have to hop on a plane and physically meet someone. Does that make sense? Yeah. You see, it's different. And like it's different getting advice from someone who's a millionaire or a multimillionaire and getting someone that's like trying to make it. It's a big difference in terms of like the knowledge that you're going to consume right. and receive because if I'm at a point where I'm stacking millies and I could reinvest millies into my business, yeah, dude, like everything would be on autopilot. I would have everything running yeah. on its own. When you don't, you find ways to be scrappy and make things happen, get into places, meet with people, get on planes try to get a few minutes of someone's time you saw it man we literally rolled up to this guy's office at 10 50 and the person i was interviewing had a 10 minute window we still did it you gotta know when to let it go yeah. let it go i mean fail when to let it flame or let it snow gotta move how you wanna move don't stay gotta fail when it's feeling wrong and fade away i'm a fucking innovator in a changing enterprises i'll be checking on my stock it's for finger exercises i got zeros on my mind I still smell dimes, my bank still climbs I feel right, uh, I look better, uh I need seven, uh, right this minute, uh Let me finish, nah, now let me tell them I cook these bricks up, now let me sell them Let me feed the nation what it wants All my patients front and center All my humans in attendance Hope you paying good attention We gon' show you how it's gotta go And what you gotta know What you gotta know And hey, what you need to know Whenever I go on someone's show or podcast, personally, I don't like to know ahead of time what they're gonna ask me. I like for it to be a surprise. I like to think and give responses on my feet that I haven't really thought through really well. However, not everyone's the same way. So I'm getting ready to interview Mario Armstrong in about an hour. Mario is an Emmy award winning host. He has a show called Never Settle that he also records at NASDAQ. He's on the Today Show and he wants to know what I'm gonna ask him. So I put together here a set of very quick high level questions that i'm gonna ask mario like how he got started what's his the inspiration for his show how someone created an emmy award-winning series key tips for creators and what's next the key to an interview is an interview is like art where you don't necessarily want it to be so scripted that they know exactly what you're going to ask and you know how they're going to respond. You want to make it a free flow in conversation. It's almost like a tennis match. Are we here? Oh, it's right there. All right, we're getting out. Well, we'll talk about it. Yeah, so with us one-on-one, -on -one, we'll talk about it'll be the focus on you. Yeah. I want to know your, about your background, your upbringings, your show, how you got into it. Okay. Tips for creators. Welcome back to Real Talk here at the NASDAQ Market Site in New York. Now, if you've ever thought about creating your own show and you've wondered how to create an award-winning show, this next segment and this next guest that I'm going to bring on is going to talk about his claim to fame and his name is none other than Mr. Mario Armstrong. Mario. Show. Carlos. Well, your, your show. This, this one's like an hour and a half. Yeah, this is a long <laughs> one, bro. This one's got so much good info. There's just so much good energy. Like, yeah, it's a lot of good energy. Thank you so much for those of you listening in here uh, in the control room for being yeah. patient with us. Like, yeah, thanks for looking out for us. I when, there's, when there's good energy and there's a good vibe, like the interview just keeps flowing, man. Ten years ago, I committed that I'd never find myself in the same position as I once was. Broken. Being someone who had little left, my survival instincts charged up. So the new phenomenon called social media became a means of survival, along with building relationships in hopes that one day they would materialize into something more significant. 
Without social media and believing in myself, I don't know where I would be today or if I would be here at all. My new equation is now legacy and purpose. Social media is the gateway to leave a legacy shared with millions of other human beings. Starting a business is not easy, which is why more corporate professionals don't roll the dice and make the leap like I did over the last year. You feel doubtful. Counter that with optimism. You feel like you're non-existent to the working world. Counter that with you're just an anomaly in the world. There's zero stability or guarantees of when your next check will come. People who were once colleagues now view you as someone who's in dire need of money. However, when you know what it's like to not have money, you start valuing opportunity more. Every opportunity is a hidden gift. Contained within that gift is an outcome, big or small, which is why the opportunity is the prize that I seek in all that I do and who I come across not money or fame. Today, social media has made the world a more connected yet smaller place. With as much as a tweet, you can connect with anyone and anywhere around the world. Ultimately, it's up to you to decide how to face adversity when it comes your way. Because it will. Every day you have a choice. Chase opportunity or have opportunity be chosen for you. Choose to chase opportunity. I just want to point out that today, November 6, 2018, marks 10 years since I lost my job in the banking industry. Look where I'm at. New York City, Times Square. Got a show with NASDAQ, Real Talk, Facebook Watch. Let's go.